This is Charlie Flow World Sports Show. Seattle Rain top Washington Spirit by a score of 2-1. to one. They will face each other in the first round of playoffs. Very interesting to play them in the last game of the season and then face them again in a couple weeks. Yeah, I think it definitely gives it a little more fire. You know, they, they're going to be coming out pretty strong kind of with this really fresh in their minds and, and same with us, you know, a lot of good individual matchups. So I think that'll be, a, you know, it's going to make that game a little bit more fun than, than it might be otherwise. Very interesting season. A lot of players get called for a World Cup. You get yourself a lot of play time. What does it do, like, for depth-wise to know that you guys can use anybody in your roster and you still find a way to win? Um, I think, you know, for us, that's been so important. And I think, you know, so much of this year was going to be based on, you know, who was going to rise to the occasion when, when World Cup players were gone. And, you know, I think we're lucky to have players like Kim Little and Jess Fishlock, who arguably are two of the best players in the world and, and weren't at the World Cup. Um, so I think, you know, for us, our depth and our ability to kind of come through and shine through has really helped us because we have that consistency that some other teams don't have as well. You mentioned Kim Fish, I mean, Kim um, and Jess, all those players. And Pino, how do those players in practice help improve your game as a goalkeeper just getting to see some of the most elite players on the field? Yeah, I mean, you know, when, you, when you're having players like that running at you and shooting at you, you know, they, they certainly don't shy away in practice. So, you know, it makes coming into a game, you know, you've, you know you've already seen it from the best. So it, you, can, you can only feel confident. And working under Hope Solo this year, working behind her and you guys sharing the reps back and forth, what has that experience been like? What have you learned from her? I've Training with her over the past couple of years has been unbelievably helpful to my game. Um, she's wonderful. She is so helpful. She is so encouraging. Um, and, you know, I get to go out and I, I get to watch her. And I think, you know, beyond the fact that she's just, you know, technically so sound, I think with her, she truly does work harder than anybody else. And, and I, I get to see every single day what it takes to play at that level. So for me, it's been wonderful. It's just atmosphere here. You're playing on the grass, playing in front of a sold-out crowd. You know, you're three time zones away. But what's this atmosphere like for you as a player, just seeing the growth of women's soccer? Um, it's amazing. It, this is so fun. You know, when you get out and you get the crowd and they're they're getting behind you and everything like that. It's just, it really is, it's so cool. Um, and I think, you know, even with our attendance spike and just people getting so excited about it and, you know, getting, just everybody's getting, you know, recognized more just out walking around. It's fun. It really is. And I think it's going to have a really good buildup in the Olympics. Some of your thoughts with the final being in Portland. You know, I definitely something you guys want. I don't want to jinx it for you guys, but yeah. it's definitely something you want to get to. Just, you know, the arrays in that Pacific Northwest of just how aware everybody is for female soccer and male soccer, too. I, I think it, you know, I think a lot of us agree, you know, as much as we would like that home field advantage for the finals, you know, I, I do see the draw and hosting it at such a big stadium and a place where you get such a big pull. You know, I think in the past for us, we've played well there. So we want to get there, and, and we, it's a place where we feel comfortable. And in the past, we've, we've done well despite, you know, the crowd's not being for us so much. But hopefully, you know, we can pull some fans down this time. And, and hopefully, again, you know, first got to take care of business next weekend. It's Charlie Flo, Haley Kottmeyer, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.